Hi guys, hope you're all well. So I'm just coming on to do a little bit of a witchcraft video for you today. I haven't done any sort of spells for a little bit of time and I came across um, the other day, I'm in quite a few various witchcraft groups and in one of the witchcraft groups I came across something that I thought was really interesting that kind of is interlinking with readings at the moment and this is kind of like how we communicate with ourselves, how we actually talk to ourselves. And so many of us, we put ourselves down, we say vile things to ourselves, we really actually limitate, um, you know, our goals, our dreams, our desires. And we've all been there, we've all done it from time to time. And what we end up sometimes doing is almost placing curses upon ourselves. You know, the words of what we say to ourselves, they have power, they have magic. So if you're somebody that with the energy of recent times, You've been putting yourself down, you've been saying that you're worthless, you know, you're ugly, you're inadequate in some way. Whatever you may have been saying to yourself, those words carry power and they, have made, they may have made you feel a certain way as a result. So I found this really, really good spell to remove a curse um, placed upon ourself. So this is all for self-cursing. And I thought, I'm going to show you this little video, or this little spell, because it's going to be really interesting, really easy to do, and one worth doing, okay? So I've got my little um, spell book here, I don't know if you can sort of see that, and I've put the sort of spell within. Now it looks quite complicated, but it really isn't, okay? It's really straightforward. So to perform this spell, guys, what you will need, you will need an object that represents your energy in some way. So this could be like a photo, this could be a doll or poppet, this could be a different type of object, you've got a tarot card, but whatever you use, it potentially, depending how sort of, you know, you are with the spell, could get a little bit damaged. So go for something that's maybe a little bit robust. So for today's spell, I'll be using, I sell these great poppets or sort of voodoo dolls, um, or actually sort of spell dolls. Um, I sell these for one of my beautiful friends who makes them and she is the beautiful Katrina from The Witch and the Spinning Wheel. So if you've not checked her page out on Facebook, please do. Now the reason I went for this one, he's got a green eye, you probably can't see in this video, but my eyes are actually green. And so I thought, here's a cool representation for me. And what's also great with these particular poppet dolls, on the back they have a pocket where you can place crystals you could place some sort of you know bit of paper with writing on and put it in or herbs or anything that you need to place in the back of them so that's what I'll be using today for my representation of me then we also need something to represent the elements because we'll be calling in the elements to sort of work with us so you can use anything for this so a representation for the air fire earth and the water so just to give you a quick rundown, I'll be using a feather to represent the energy of air. I'll be, represent, I'll be using a crystal to represent the energy of earth because obviously crystals are found and formed deep within the earth. I'll be using a candle, which is inside here ready for the representation of fire. And I have a chalice with water in, you probably can't see that, you might be able to see that, but trust me, there is water in there to represent the energy of water. And you will also need a fireproof dish or a cauldron. So I've got one of those ready for later on. You will also need a pair of scissors or if you have an athame or a knife, um, which I've also got to hand here. And you'll also need some sort of cord, thread or, um, a ribbon you know something that you can bind the doll or your your chosen object with so I'll be using a cotton cord because it's just easier for, for me for spell work so that's all the pieces you'll need okay and then what we're gonna do so to perform this spell firstly we have to cast our circle so pointing the energy to the north and taking your object of choice which is the feather so I know you know, because I've used my uh, mobile phone, which is great for using your sort of compass to sort of define where you are in your home. So I know that north sits on this side for me. And then I'm just going to say, element of air, I call you here. Send your energy forth, strong and clear. Settle now within this place, 
join me here within my space. And then we do the same thing with the east. So you point to the east, probably best if I do it that way. So element of earth, I call you here. Send your energy forth, strong and clear. Settle now within this place. Join me here within my space. And then we do the same thing with the south for the fire. So this would be behind me. So I'm actually just going to light this first. Okay. So element of fire. I call you here. Send your energy forth strong and clear. Settle now within this place. Join me here within my space. And finally, the water. Element of water, I call you here. Send your energy forth strong and clear. Settle now within this place. Join me here within my space. And then what I've got on the table, I'm going to just move the camera just very quickly so you can sort of see the setup that I've got here. I'm going to have to sort of turn this round. And I'm hoping, oh, let me move that the other way. I'm hoping that you can kind of sort of see, I'm not sure if that's working or not. Um, there we go. You can kindly sort of see the setup that I've got there. Okay. So let's just put this back. So now we've called in the quarters and the elements. So next, take your object of choice that represents you and say three times. So this is the object of choice. Okay, and I'm going to just say three times. This object is me and I am it. This object is me and I am it. This object is me and I am it. Next, I'm going to take some cotton or string and wrap around the object that is myself. And I'm going to wrap this around tightly. So I'm going to take this. Okay. And I'm literally going to just start wrapping this around. So I know what I normally do is pull a bit of this off so you've got a little bit to play with. Okay. And I'm just going to say... This cord represents the curse I have placed upon myself, the restrictions and limitations I created. And then as you're wrapping this around, anything that you've been saying to yourself of recent times, just feel those vibrations, feel those feelings, whatever you may have been saying. So if you've been sort of feeling something, you know, if you've been feeling worthless, if you've been feeling not very good at the work you do, if you've just been feeling inadequate in some way. And when you feel like you've sent all the energies in, just cut the string and then sort of tie it up or tie it around within. So I've kind of sealed that off there. So this now represents all the restrictions, all the negative thoughts and feelings that I've actually said to myself and made myself believe, okay? And then just hold this and send all of those negative feelings, all of those things that you've perhaps wanting to release Feel the bindings that surround you and constrain you. They're within you. They may have been with you for some time. They could have been with you from childhood days or in more recent times. But wherever they form from, just feel their energy and feel them transferring into this doll or whatever you're using as your object. And feel the bindings. And when you feel these feelings, and you feel the curse inside your body, which is ultimately what you've placed, use your knife or your athame to cut the cords all the way through. So, I'm just going to use this. And as you cut the cords, 
you might want to place your cauldron in the middle of your circle so I know you can't see this but I'm putting that there and just say I sever and release the bounds I place upon myself the old patterns that no longer serve me feel yourself within growing free from these limitations and these restrictions and literally just feel the energy as you cut these cords free okay now place the cut cords into the cauldron or the fireproof dish whatever you're choosing to use I'm just making sure I've gathered all these together so as you can see these are all the cut cords and you can actually feel the restrictions being sort of you know you can feel them going so I'm just going to place them inside the cauldron here and then set them on fire and just watch these burn now because I'm using cotton this is burning very quick so you probably can't see this too well but trust me that they are burning okay they're burning lovely and quickly Oof. okay make sure I didn't singe my eyebrows in so Feel yourself completely free, ready and able to make new choices, better decisions and feeling more aligned with your deepest desires and your true will. And when the cords are completely burnt out, which these are guys, literally, I don't know if you can see that, but it's all, it's all burnt and it's all gone. So when you feel these and when you see that these are completely burnt, just say, the curse is broken and I am free to live life completely on my terms and how I choose to be and then finally hold the object that you use to represent yourself and say three times this object doll is now only a doll it is it and I am me this doll is now only a doll it is it and I am me this doll is now only a doll it is it and I am me and finally now closing back down the elements air fire water and earth my familiar friends I bid you thanks and farewell until we meet again and then blow out the candle and finally what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that candle I'm going to take whatever remains are left in here from the ashes of the cauldron and I'm going to scatter those away from my house. Okay, so when I go into the woods, I might either bury them or I might just scatter them into the winds. And what I'm also going to do, I've got a little tumble stone here of rose quartz. And rose quartz is a beautiful stone to amplify self-love, self-worth. And now I've released these restrictions from this item. I'm just going to place this rose quartz crystal in the back of this doll so that it can recharge and I'm going to put it in the sun okay so I'm going to put it on a windowsill or possibly out in the garden so provided my dog doesn't get it and think it's his new toy um, and I'm going to let the sun recharge that so for two reasons one so I can use this doll again in spell work but also to help boost the energies of self-love and that really is the spell, guys, in its entirety. So it's really simple, it's really easy to do, but it's a really great one to do if you feel like you have placed burdens, limitations, if you've almost cursed or hexed yourself through fears, anxieties, whatever it might be. And we all get that from time to time. And with the energies of the way the world is at the moment, something I've been noticing within readings is that's happening a lot more for some of us so something to be mindful of so an easy spell that you can try so I'm going to leave the energies of this with you stay safe stay well much love and blessings and I'll talk to you all again soon bye for now